Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Mr. Moore in the tech lab here, uh, demonstrating some of the tools, the power tools that we have and safety features, safety uh, guidelines running uh, around each one of these. It's so important for your own well-being and those working around you. So one of my favorite tools here, uh, dubbed the Alien, is a drill press, actually. Uh, we have five of them in here, and I'll, I'll show you those individually in just a moment, but they all work basically on the same principle and designed to do the same thing. Uh, drill a hole straight through an object, whether it's plastic, metal, or wood or whatever it is you put a piece of material underneath the drill drill bit uh, we're going to use a drill press up there a drill press vise that's why you wear shoes in the lab a drill press vise this is very heavy uh, to hold the object in place that you're drilling that way, uh, if something happens and this thing grabs hold, the drill bit grabs hold of your wood project, um, you're not holding onto it with your bare hand directly. Uh, there's hold, you can hold it more securely with the drill press vise. So a couple of things you wanna know about. Uh, there's a big clunky motor in the back of this thing. Uh, and you will never, uh, if you look, get in a battle with this thing, you'll never win. Uh, so that's the reason why we emphasize safety when using one of these things. Uh, you would always use your proper eye protection, so switching over to uh, my special uh, safety glasses or goggles if you need those. Get oriented with the machine that you're going to use. All the machines that we have here have what's called a feed handle or some kind of handle system, a lever that lowers the drill bit down into your object straight down at a 90 degree angle. Yes, perpendicular uh, to your object, okay? Um, there's a start button and a stop button somewhere on the front where you can always find this thing. So. Sometimes there are different colors in this, or sometimes it's just a red switch. This one is black, and I think I need to have a timer on the wall. This, this thing's a beast, um, so you don't want to tangle with it. A couple other safety things you need to have in mind for all the power tools in here. Safety goggles or glasses first. Uh, short sleeves only. Uh, any long sleeves could get you entangled on this thing. Long hair needs to be pulled back with a whatever, scrunchy, rubber band tucked in your collar. Uh, any long hair that could be tangled on this is going to be bad news for you. So make sure that that's taken care of. The part that holds the drill bit is called the chuck like a person's name. And normally there's a key or a tool that opens and closes this. Uh, otherwise, we just keep the drill bits in the machines um, and you can move yourself around to the proper drill press that has the drill bit of the size you're interested in. Again, using a vise is super important to stabilize and secure your items properly. One of the things that I need to emphasize here, and you can see if you look closely, uh, be aware of the path of the drill, how far it goes down into your project. And if it's going to go past your project into the drill press vise, make sure that it's going through the open spot in the drill press vise instead of into the metal. Uh, most of these drill press uh, drill bits are not designed to cut through uh, heavy duty steel like this. So that ruins a drill bit if it's gonna be cutting into or getting into the steel end of this drill press vise. So make sure the path of the drill bit is going right through the center here into a hollow space. 
you can see where people have been careless and have drilled into this. This is probably 40 years old. Um, we can replace these um, wooden cushions or bumpers on the ends, but it's really hard to be replacing drill bits every time someone runs into a piece of steel here. So please take care of the equipment and uh, we'll take care of you. Uh, this is just a, basically a, a spiral uh, version of a simple drill bit, but there are other types that I want to introduce you to. This one, we call it a twist drill bit. It looks like a, like a, a red vine or a piece of licorice just twisted up on here. And if I can zoom. So there it is. And I'll show you a couple of the other bits that we have loaded up and the other machines in the room. Okay, you can see a couple more drill presses side by side here, one with the red handle, feed handle, uh, and one with the black. Uh, made by different companies, but they essentially do the same thing. And we just have them loaded up with um, different size uh, twist drill bits. So very much similar to the larger one that we saw earlier. Uh, instead of buttons for on off, this is a switch. Uh, it's not turned on on the timer yet, but uh, just switching up and down with this, which activate it. Uh, there's no speed control on this. It's a set speed. Uh, just make sure the drill bit goes up to full speed before you uh, push down on this. Uh, anytime you're using a power tool, uh, regardless of what kind it is, you're going to go gently through this slow rate of speed until uh, you know you feel some resistance. Just let the tool, in this case, the motor and the drill bit, do the work for you. You don't want to force or race into any of these projects. Let me take you down, show you a few more types of drill bits. Okay, this is one of my favorites here. That a big old Delta uh, drill press with a really nice adjustable uh, base here, which can be cranked up and down. Usually I'll set that uh, so you won't have to worry about this, but this thing uh, will adjust to the level and which will determine the depth that this drill bit cuts into your project. I'm usually gonna be the one fiddling with that. Uh, this, if you get a close up view of this, drill bit, it's shaped differently than the others. And I have a larger one here. This is called a spade bit. A spade is a flat shovel, and so you can see why this is named uh, after that. Basically, it's scooping out uh, large amounts of wood each time it turns. And uh, so it's much different than that uh, shape of the original bit that I showed you, that twist bit which has basically this spiral shape and a, a small bit at the end. So we can flare these things open. This is an inch across. We can get a nice wide opening. Again, you have to go through uh, wood slowly. You're cutting a lot of material away when you're using a spade bit like this. Um, so beating down gently and slowly and letting the machine do the work instead of you forcing into it, okay? Don't wanna be doing that. And then if I could just slide to the left a little bit, I'll show you this one on the end, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then finally we'll get to the end. This is uh, another Delta drill press with a very special drill bit in it. And I want you to know about this one too. It's the largest drill bit that we have as far as diameter and this is called a Forstner bit, uh, Forstner. And I need to have one that's taken out of here that you can see a little bit better. But that one actually, if I can remove it. Yeah, here it comes. So basically this thing uh, we use for our walnut cracker project. That thing's almost two inches across, and this gouges out or carves out huge amounts of wood. So you have to be very slow and patient with this one as it's just shoveling wood out of here, the force nerve it. Um, so you're gonna be pulling down very, very slowly on this 
machine as you cut with this. Uh, basically, the larger the bit, the slower you have to go because it's cutting more and more wood than uh, smaller bits. Okay, chuck the bit. The on off switch is above, like the other Delta machines, and the feed handle. And this baby down here is our drill press vise. So you want to be always putting something in the vise to stabilize your project and hold it firmly uh, while you're drilling. Let's take a look at one of these in action. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I want to demonstrate how the drill press actually works uh, on a project that you'll be working on. Uh, this is the, the car, the wooden car. And what I want to do is drill axle holes through here. Uh, again, whenever you're cutting or drilling, mark ahead of time, plan your cuts and drill holes by marking on them. I put little X's where I want to center this drill bit down in. Uh, technically speaking, with a drill bit this small, I wouldn't have to use the drill press vise, but it's very good practice. Uh, other things to note, no sleeves, no long hair, it's tied back, safety glasses are required on all power tools. If you're in this room, uh, you need glasses. I'm going to go ahead and this is going to take very little time. I'm just going to one hand on the vise, one hand on the speed, uh, the feet handle. Uh, oh, something I just noticed. The path of the blade or the path of the drill bit is going to go into this, uh, into the vise. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to reposition this so it goes into the hollow space. Uh, Make sure that you're not drilling into the steel. Here we go. Nice and slow. Pretty easy with a small bit. You might feel that the pressure eases up. I just did. That means you cleared the wood. You want to turn it off between cuts, even though you feel like you have it under control. I'm actually going to reposition the car over that opening uh, so that I'm not cutting into the drill press vise. So.